What's up? Think International bringing you innovative and creative leaders. I'm here with Eric O. Young from Future of Forestry. How you doing, man? Doing good, thanks. Now, you're currently on your Christmas tour. How's that going? It's going great. We're on the eighth or ninth date of the tour, uh, just going up the West Coast. Uh, we're in Seattle right now and then heading to Vancouver, BC, and then back down through uh, areas like Texas and uh, New Mexico, Arizona, and then finishing in our home state, California. Oh, come what sparked the idea of doing a Christmas tour? Um, basically wanting to uh, kind of experience Christmas on a deeper level. There's a lot of Christmas songs out there, but we kind of see them as these very light and jovial songs, which is, which is awesome. But uh, to me, Christmas is a very deep and serious right. and spiritual time, very nostalgic. And yeah. um, so what I wanted to do was create that experience kind of um, with, in a bed of music and, um, and just to surround people with that uh, kind of presence. The Christmas music is unreal that you guys put together. Matter of fact, most of your music is unreal and super creative um, and I'd say excellent. How do you maintain such a high level of excellence in, in the production of your work? I think that's just uh, ingrained in certain people not letting themselves get away with anything other than their best, you know. And um, I think the cool thing about um, excellence is it's so contagious you know once one person has it everybody has it and everybody sees that as a standard so when we work together everyone is putting in a hundred percent to make sure it happens right and the best of our ability now are you pretty per picky with who you work with or who you collaborate with yeah definitely it's kind of a j an ongoing joke um, with the players in the band but you have to be able to play uh, at least like five instruments or something um, but the, the reality is that um, any musician that I do work with there's always a need to have them play something like the the vibraphone or the glockenspiel or get over on the keyboard and so right. um, we've rarely had musicians survive if they can only play one instrument so all of them are very well very well trained uh, a lot of them have degrees in music and uh, it makes it a really special entity if you travel here you will feel it with all the different um, instruments that you incorporate obviously there's probably a lot of sounds going on up in the head you know how do you go from the thought to actually producing it you know creatives are, are good at kind of being creative but a lot of times we're lousy at producing a, a, a finished product. What's your workflow? How do you do it? My workflow is very, very organic. In other words, it's growing the whole time. Mm -hmm. It's never just planned out. So I might create something in my head, but uh, what ends up coming out on the CD might not be, sound anything like it, even though that was what gave birth to that original idea. Wow. So um, I'll hear something and then try to make that sound but even while I'm making that sound, other sounds will appear. And so um, I feel like it, I get to be a part of a process like that's, that's not necessarily coming from me. It's kind of mm -hmm. coming from this just creative flow. Do you think it helps having, having surrounded yourself with such creative musicians? Is there a lot of uh, a collaboration on the sounds that end up actually coming out? Yeah, the, there's probably two things. One is being able to work with more people uh, at the same time and seeing what it sounds like when everybody comes together. Um, but the other thing is having instruments because if you only have a piano then you can only go so, so far with a piano But when you have a, a, a large palette of instruments to work with to be able to say oh, what if cello was here? Right. Um, if you don't have a cello player, then you can't even really think that way But right. you know the more players you have the more instruments you have the more it just opens up new doors Would you suggest to anybody out there uh, any any leader in general whether a musician or you know pastor you know business owner would you suggest really the importance of surrounding yourself with a great team? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, if you have a standard of excellence but the team isn't there, then excellence only goes so far. And if people don't get it, then they, they don't get it. You know, you can't, you can't really train people to have excellence as much as it has to be in them. And you can draw it out of them. Right. But if they don't really understand that from the beginning and they're like, I don't understand why we're practicing so hard, <laughs> you're not going to get very far. Right, right, right. Everything's changing so fast right now. Um, Technology is going through the roof. The music industry has just shifted majorly in the past decade. Do you have any kind of uh, predictions of where you think things are going to go? You know, like uh, people are producing more and more EPs as opposed to full-blown albums and whatnot. 
Yeah, already the industry has uh, begun to be run by independent artists. Um, right now, um, it's not very important to be on a record label, sure. and the people who were on record labels are leaving the record labels because the record labels are running out of money, and it's just a totally different industry. What I've seen, even over the last two to three years, is more creativity. Right. Um, if you look at film and television, you'll see some creativity that wasn't there before, right, and that's right. really special. Although that creativity may not be paying those artists very much because sure. most of those artists are giving their music away for free. Right. Um, but it's very exciting because you see all these new artists emerging and some really, really creative things happening. And I'm not sure where it's going to go from there. I'm not sure if those artists are, are going to be able to survive and, right. and if all of us are going to still be you know, able to do music. Right. But um, music will always last regardless. Right. For sure. What do you feel like you're doing to adapt to the whole change of everything? Um, I have kind of had to adapt from the very beginning. Um, my, my band um, and my music has never been uh, one or the other. It's never been like the indie band that kind of does it on the side, but it's also never been the huge band that's, uh, you know, the top radio hit sure, band. Sure. We're kind of known as the credential-ish uh, you know the cred band as you call right, it the right. band that kind of does it for the music and sure. um, that isn't known on the mass massive scale you know as the bigger bands but all that all the you know the musicians and the indie kids you know they're like hey have you checked this out and right. so we take pride in that you know it's kind of a fun thing and um, because of that I've had to adapt you know and figure out how to run things right. on an indie level and yet be able to kind of handle it uh, on the level of touring and putting things together and yeah. uh, trying to figure out how it all works so I've turned into a bit of a business person and I, I hate that Wow, that's like the worst part of my job but you know the people I know that are musicians at my level the only ones that are making it are the people that are trying to figure out how to do it themselves. Right. So you've had to adapt. You've had to adapt yourself by becoming a business type person. What's the, what's the future of future of forestry? I don't really know. Um, you know, I I do this full time as far as music, but doesn't necessarily mean just future of forestry. I produce and mix other bands and stuff. Okay. Um, but it seems to all work together, and I'm just trying to figure out how to continue to make it grow and to continue to be authentic and and see what's next. You know, we've put out. Um, the, the travel series mm -hmm. um, and each series is kind of a, a, just a different creative you know uh, take on music and life and lyrics and stuff and uh, I think the next step is to do a full-length album but I'm not really sure exactly what that's gonna look like yet I have some ideas but uh, I don't want to say yet because then I might change my mind exactly, or something like right, that right for sure well man thank you so much Absolutely. it's great future forestry think international take it easy